We always wonder about movie stars, or actually what that word means, and with Jacqueline Bissett. Uh, it's always hard to transfer being here with someone who you see on movies and on film to the way you're seeing them now at home on your screen. And I wonder how you feel about that, if you feel that you come across the way you want to come across to people. I don't know. I Do don't think, think about, about it? it too much no? now. No, I used to a lot more. Do you think you're beautiful? <laughs> no, I think I can get to a certain point of a certain look that people consider to be. If I go through a certain amount of num things with it's a very stressful situation here, isn't it? The lights and... No, 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 it isn't. I just... I never know what to say when people talk about being beautiful. I mean, well, that's uh, why I wanted to give you an opportunity to talk about it in a non-beautiful way. About the, the fact of it. If you, if you resent talking about it, first of all. I'm not thrilled about talking yeah. about it. It does seem to detract from your talent when you talk well, about I think it. It's nice to be, I think it's nice to feel attractive, and I think it's nice for people to be attractive, and I think it's important to a degree and all that stuff. But. but I think the fact, if you are, I mean, attractive, I think the word attractive is also relevant to what is coming out of you. Of course. From inside out and how you feel about life, etc. And that is far more important. And um, Did you always want to be an actress? No. What did you want to be when you were a little girl playing in a sandbox? I to be a dancer. I to really? Be, yeah. And did you take dancing lessons? Oh, yeah. What did, made Alan. you give that up? Well, I wasn't studying at school properly, and I really was not. I was quite good, I and mean, I, was, I was graceful and stuff like that, but I really wasn't strong enough. My feet got started to get cramps and stuff, so I didn't go on. I used to horse ride a lot, too. I would do one made your legs go out, and one you needed the legs to go in, yeah. you know, so I had to choose, and I, I chose neither. I did a little studying instead. Were you good in school? Yeah. What were your favorite subjects? Math? We may discover you're a great no, mathematician. No, oh God, right? worst mathematician. <laughs> I, I get maths is my. It's it's embarrassing to be as bad as maths as I am. Really? And I'm really quite bright in most areas, but that is a total washout. Did you go to college? No. What is college? Yeah. Well, here it's after. Uh, it, I know the words are different, but it's after 12 years of formal school. Anything beyond that is usually called college. Well, I went to school in England, and I I did what is called O-levels, and then I did A-levels. And that's, I don't know, that's pre-university. Mm -hmm. I don't know what the equivalent is. Mm -hmm. Acting as a profession, uh, are you comfortable with it? Are you proud of being an actress? Uh, when you talk to your parents, are they proud you're an actress? I mean, is it, <clears throat> some people end up doing things, they don't really uh, feel that it's, it's something you should spend a life doing. I think, so. I vary it. I think it's a fantastic profession, I must say. And there's some highly, intelligent people in it. Uh, there's always the area between the media and the reality, you know, which is um, difficult to make judgments on. I, I think it's a very serious job. And I think giving escapism to people is, is probably much is important. Mm -hmm. uh, I guess that's what, I'm, what I mean. I think a lot of people mean when they talk about your looks, which you really didn't have much to do about. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, and that is, when you are beautiful or handsome, whatever, you tend to get moved into a certain stylized kind of role in movie. And the person inside, the, the, the artist inside, tends to be forgotten because you look a certain way. A lot of money can be made on the way you look, and let it go with that. And you know, the great yes, studio... I'm not, Hollywood I'm not satisfied with that. that. I'm not satisfied oh, yeah. at all by that. So. I think it's more difficult to, uh, because people today seem to think more in the business about what they do and care. Studios built great fortunes and great reputations of people. And that's all they ever did in the 30s and 40s. There were beautiful women who made beautiful women movies, period. I don't think that's fair. No? No. Why? Because, I mean, some of the women who were beautiful, they were not just beautiful. I mean, there's a million beautiful women around. Why did some succeed and some, I mean, all these great, the great stars of the 30s and 40s, etc. I, mean, I don't think they were just beautiful. They had something behind it that made them more than just masks. I mean, they were a living, there was a living kind of beauty. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, well, Ava I Gardner <clears throat> or something like that, I mean, it really looked as no, a... As a I, excuse me, but I want to say this because we're running out of film, but sitting here next to you, you're a lovely woman, but you're not more lovely than a lot of women mm -hmm. I will see when yeah. I leave here. 
But I know when I get back and watch this on film, you will project much more dramatically than you are here sitting next mm -hmm. to me. And I think that's the difference. Now, I'm not sure what it is, the color of your eyes, the set of your, your mouth or lips. It's I'm a, not sure. It's a mixture of things. It's also an energy level, the concentration that you put onto film. And you, you know, it's a sort of focus thing. Right. And something you have to learn in acting is that kind of focus thing. Do you like the way you look on film? Depends what, if it, if it, how it relates to the part. Yeah. Well, sometimes do you ever think, gee, I look I sometimes I think I look dreadful. <laughs> what do you, but you're stuck with it, right? It doesn't, it doesn't really matter. I mean, you, yeah. I, it, it, one doesn't want to disappoint people. That's the awful thing. I know exactly what you mean. And, and you, there again, we get trapped into the expectations of others. There's an orchestration of expectations yeah. in this business that once you become successful, you must live up to, and it's a terrible burden. Yeah, well, I and don't need to really get too heavy. I mean, I've no, I felt the beginnings of it. Hmm. Well, you could stop using <clears throat> uh, any makeup. You don't have much on. You could uh, shave your head, I guess. Well, um, I think that's going a little far. <laughs> <laughs> I still I, want to work. I think so, right. Jacqueline Bissett, thank you very thank much. You. We'll be right back.